Jonathan Nicola is a man who identifies with the concept ball is light. So much so that he actually faked being a 17-year-old teenager to play in a Canadian high school basketball team when in fact he was not 17 years old but actually 32. Sounds like a Mad Lib. There he is. That is Jonathan Nicola, that, uh, that incredibly talented basketball player that we covered last week. Has, uh, there's some recent, uh, there's new developments in the story. Uh, they've tracked him down. He's still, uh, he's still being detained by the Canadian border uh, authority. And uh, they've asked him, why did you do this? And Jonathan Nicola's answer was a little interesting. He claimed that, I always keep asking, what is the specific age I was born? And she has told me that she could not remember. Now, I don't necessarily know if that is actually true. But I want to know what you think, Brett. Do you think Jonathan Nicola was lying? And do you think that it's actually, uh, do you think he wasn't aware of how old he was and he just thought he was a 17-year-old boy? He's Sudanese. Yes. Um, and he says that's not like a thing. He says that in, in where he lived, they didn't really talk about birthdays. But I think, you know, and you also hear about like people in, in on the Chinese national team being way older than they say they are. Because it, there's, and it's, it's hard sometimes in some countries to keep track of this stuff, but you know how long a year is about. There's a difference between being like, I'm 17 or I'm 19 or I'm 21, and saying I'm 17 when really you're 32. Yeah, so. That's a really big difference. So, but here's the thing it's though. It's a long time to get a, a handle on how long a year is. The other day, the other day, and I mean, this, by the way, you actually mentioned a really good point. Thank this you. This does happen. Uh, amongst athletes in an international presence all the time. Like, athletes purposefully will uh, make themselves younger on their birth certificates so that they can compete at a higher level amongst people that are not as, um, that haven't progressed as much as they have because mm -hmm. they hit adolescence earlier. And that way they get more looks from international scouts. That way they get to play on the national team. And this is a very common practice. It yeah. happens in Turkey all the time. It happened uh, in Africa in, as well. In, in the U.S., you're held back a year. So there's a family called the Clausens. Jimmy Clausen was the quarterback. He's an NFL quarterback, Casey Clausen. And their dad was like, listen, they went to school with me. Their dad was like, we're going to hold you back a year so you're a year ahead and give you a lot of training. And it turned into... Three, three college quarterbacks, and I think two professional quarterbacks. Yeah, so I mean, it, it that's works. obviously not the only reason. It's not like a surefire thing that you're going to be an incredibly talented athlete. Obviously, when you're already an incredibly talented athlete and then you get that advantage, it's tremendous. And if you read the popular Malcolm Gladwell book, uh, The Outliers, they talk extensively on this subject about Canadian youth development leagues for hockey, where the children that were born before July are usually at a tremendous disadvantage against the I mean, sorry, they're at a tremendous advantage against the people that are born after July, especially closer to like around December, because those people are not, uh, those kids are not necessarily right. they're um, a few years hitting older. puberty. Yeah. They're playing with people who are younger than them, yeah. typically. And yeah. then they have an advantage. Here's the thing, he's 32. Oh, and I was 32, which was in the past, believe it or not. I did not know that. Oh, I always my, think you're like 24. I'm 15. My niece. And my back just suck. And I, I mean, I think it's more impressive that he's doing it at this age than if he was 17. If you're like, if you've been, you know, if you've been active your entire life, not saying that you're not, but no, I've been <laughs> if you've been active your entire time. life, then it's, it's, it's fine. You can be a successful athlete at the age of 32. You're very well developed and ahead of the game as far as, I mean, you have, what, 20 years of experience competing in organized basketball against all these other 17 year olds who've been playing it for like, Five to seven years. This guy had tried this stuff in the past. He'd gone through it and been rejected. He then went from an Amer there's He's in the American system. They found out about it. They ended up sending the info to the Canadian system. That's how they found out about it. But then against the backdrop of the fact that this guy says he has to go through and do this kind of stuff so he can work in Canada and send money back to his home. And, and his and mother has diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. What's crazy about this is it sounds like one of those like internet scams. I must oh. give me money to play basketball so I can send money back to my diabetic mother at home. Are you being racist? Are you implying that he's What's like racist about that? Nigerian princes normally uh, do this sort of thing? I'd make that same generalization about North America. Would you? If Yeah, in North America, we have generally more money. I don't think it's racist. 
I was just, I don't to, think it's racist. Oh, yeah. well then why did you? I just wanted to point the finger at you for Haas a second. Point. Haas's finger. Okay, so I want to hear what you- We should do a new segment called Haas Fingers. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag. We should do it. So I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think that, uh, do you think that Jonathan Nicola was lying? Is he a liar? Or do you really think that he didn't know how old he was? Is this common? Uh, we have an international audience, so is this common around you? Do you know of instances where this has happened to you personally? Do you know someone that's older than you that plays At all. with you? Do you know anyone who's older than you? Do you know anyone who's you older than you? I do not. We want to know. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm Sam Pikers, Fred Ehrlich, and uh, that is all today from Pop Trigger.